Let's say your monthly income is represented by this at so, no. All right, one more time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shakiba. I recently completed my MPhil in Economics at Oxford, and this is my research in 60 seconds. We all know that people make different amounts of income. This difference is called income inequality. But could it be that as inequality increases, recessions become worse? Let's say your monthly income is represented by a satsuma. It's typical of most economists that many people earn low incomes and therefore end up spending almost every segment of income each month. While a small group, those with high incomes, are left with virtually an entire satsuma at the end of the month because they start up with more. So what happens to those at the lower end of the distribution in a recession? Well, they're forced to borrow segments in order to survive. So when the financial pressure finally lifts off the economy, these people are unable to resume their previous level of consumption because they're indebted and have to pay back these borrowed segments. In countries like Sweden and Denmark with low inequality, the recession following the crisis lasted for a much shorter period than in countries like the US with high inequality. So unless we want very bad recessions, let's aim for low inequality.